When you think about trauma, what we're talking about when we refer to post-traumatic stress disorder is trauma that rises above what might happen to you in natural daily living. So not a minor fender bender, but we're talking about a significant car accident. We're talking about natural disasters. We're also talking about interpersonal violence. So abuse of children, rape, battery, assault. And then of course on the further extreme is combat. And what we're looking at is any type of event that causes the person to become interrupted in their daily function and not be able to recover back to whatever job life, whatever social life, whatever interpersonal functioning they had before the trauma occurred. And then what we look at in PTSD is four key areas of disruption. So the first thing we're looking for is, are they having re-experiencing symptoms? So both during the day, are they having difficulty where that memory of the event or events comes flashing back into their mind? But also, are they being woken up in the middle of the night with dreams of this event coming back to them? Uh, the second category we're looking for is this level of arousal, being on hyper alert, always looking for that next attack, that next injustice, that next threat to themselves and their safety or their safety of their loved ones. So being hyper alert in a car, thinking they're gonna get hit by another car, feeling like when they're driving down the street in Chicago that they're actually driving down a road in Baghdad, that kind of thing. The newer area that actually just was added to the diagnostic manual, but something we've seen for years is this cognitive and emotional disruption where people start having thoughts of, I'm not safe, the world cannot be trusted, I'm worthless. I'm hopeless. I can't connect with other people. I can't trust myself to make good decisions, but I also cannot rely on others. And that's followed by the sense of emotional numbing, where you have this inability to feel this love or connection to many people, if anyone at all. But on top of that, this sense of irritability and often anger with people that they've never met or people that they used to have close relationships with. And all of this leads to the fourth area, which is avoidance because they're having these re-experiencing symptoms, because they're on hyper alert, because they have this emotional you know, numbing, what happens is people start losing their connectivity with the entire world. They start avoiding people, places, things that might trigger them or remind them suddenly of the event or may lead to them feeling embarrassed if they do have a reminder. And what we see is people losing their entire social circle, losing their ability to go to work, and sometimes actually turning to substance use um, and other things in order to manage their daily symptoms.